Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews. Not reviews this time, predictions video. That's right, it's the Royal Rumble predictions video. And as your current reigning, defending, predictions champion, I'm putting the title on the line again against Mr. J himself. And we'll be predicting all the matches going from the kickoff show to the main show of the Royal Rumble this year. But before we get started guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and press that bell to keep notified. With all that said and done, let's hit the music and let's get on with our predictions. So on the kickoff show match, we're going to look at the US title match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev. This is possibly could, I hope to God, be a sleeper match where no one's expecting it to be anything special, yet it will possibly be the standout match of the kickoff show. I'm hoping so, but you do have a good cruiserweight match in there as well. So it's kind of making the kickoff show an unmissable kickoff show, unlike others where you kind of can skip it because it's not that important. Mr. J has predicted the artist Shinsuke Nakamura will reclaim the US title from the Bulgarian Brute. But I am going for Rusev Day. That's right, I am going for the man himself, the Lion of Bulgaria, Rusev. I think this, I think this is going to be a great match. I hope to God they actually give some time to it and that both men can show off exactly what they're capable of doing. Next up we're going to look at the Cruiserweight match uh, for the Cruiserweight Championship. Buddy Murphy versus Tozawa versus Hideo versus Carlisto. This is for me again a, a match which could easily be a fantastic match and could be a surprise match of the night because all four men in the ring are absolutely brilliant. Uh, this was a very difficult match to predict, um, obviously because it is a kickoff show match, there is very little chance that titles do change on there, There's, it's very rare that they do. But me and Mr. J both predicted two challengers to get the title. Mr. J has gone with Carlito from the Lucha House Party. Makes sense, it would be interesting to see Carlito taking that title not just to 205, but also to Raw with his Lucha House Party friends. For me, I'm going for a man who I predicted to be the Cruiserweight Champion this time last year, Hideo Tami. I think it's time for Hideo to finally hold a title in WWE, and him being one of the best names on the 205 brand just makes sense, and he is an absolutely brilliant heel right now, so yeah. I want to see Hideo finally take gold. Now moving on to the main show itself and we're going to look at the Smackdown Tag Team Championship. This is going to be The Bar versus The Miz and Shane O'Mac. This is a really difficult match to look at uh, because I am a huge Bar fan and Mr. J, he's a massive Bar fan. So it's quite difficult for us to to predict but Mr. J is keeping with his guns saying that the bar are the best tag team on Smackdown right now and it would be stupid of WWE to give the titles away at the Royal Rumble. For me I think The Miz and Shane O'Mac will take the titles off the bar. I think let's be honest it's Shane O'Mac he is the son of Vince McMahon and that the story they've kind of pushed down our first between The Miz and Shane becoming reluctant tag teams to slightly becoming friends and this could you know cr you know this could crown a Miz face turn in a best way possible so I think it's going to be a hard hitting match where Shane and the Miz are overpowered by the bar for the majority of the match yet they somehow overcome the bar to claim the Smackdown Tag Team Championship and we have a new babyface tag team, which, is, to be honest, is nice because we've only had three teams in the ta SmackDown tag team picture for a long time. The Bar, the Usos, and the New Day. It would be nice to change it up a bit and have someone like The Miz and Shane on my code in the title, even if it's only for a short period of time. Next up, we're going to look at the SmackDown Women's Championship match between the man, Becky Lynch, and the current SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka. Now this was really difficult, Mr. J has gone for the man herself, Becky Lynch, and I cannot blame him. He, she is the 
most over superstar I think WWE have on their roster right now and it would make sense to put the title back on her but saying that it would be good to see Asuka hold the title for a little bit longer. Maybe going into WrestleMania as the SmackDown Women's Champion. So I'm going to go and stick with Asuka to win. Mainly because I have a theory that Charlotte Flair will interfere in the match. Costing Becky the victory. Or maybe Ronda Rousey. We'll have to wait and see. But I still can't see Becky winning. But I don't see her losing by you know just because of Asuka I honestly think someone's going to interfere in the match costing Becky the victory which means she will enter the Royal Rumble next up we're going to have a look at the Raw Women's Championship uh, this was a very difficult one like I stated on my Raw review that I was going to stick with Team Sasha Banks and I think I'm going to have to change that um, with, my, with my prediction of Becky Lynch uh, I think it's going to be, it's going to be, Ronda's going to win. It's going to be a hard fought match. It's probably going to be one of the best matches of the night uh, between Ronda Rousey and Sasha Banks. But I think Ronda is going to win. I, I spoke to Mr. J about this and he agreed as well. One of our first times we've agreed on a prediction on who would win. But it's kind of stated that Ronda Rousey is being booked very OP right now and it would make sense her carrying the Raw Women's title to WrestleMania to face someone pretty, pretty big in the name of women's wrestling. So, yeah, we've both gone for Ronda Rousey. Now we're going to look at this year's Women's Royal Rumble. This was a difficult one for us to choose because obviously there's 30 women taking part. You've got Carmella, who is number 30 in the Women's Royal Rumble, but I've got a prediction she won't be entering in number 30. I think she'll be taken out by someone, maybe a man, uh, to take her spot. But yes, it's, it is interesting to see who could be coming back, what legends will be returning. I know WWE are doing a stupid thing where they're revealing all 30 women taking part in on Twitter and social media. I don't like that. I don't like that they're already spoiling returns and stuff like that. So for me, I'm going for Becky Lynch to win the Women's Royal Rumble. Jay, on the other hand, is going for a woman who he reckons is probably the best women's wrestler on the planet right now, Charlotte Flair. Both women have a case to take home the, you know, the victory and both challenging Ronda Rousey. Hell, if even one of them won the Royal Rumble, the other one would probably be added to the WrestleMania match. Uh, this year anyway, so it could be interesting to go. So yeah, I'm going for Becky Lynch. Mr. J, J is going for Charlotte Flair. Let's see which woman is the man. Now we're going to look at the men's Royal Rumble match. Now this was again a very difficult choice because there's a few favourites already online on, on social media. Uh, that's Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre and Samoa Joe. Mr. J has gone for someone who isn't even in the favourites but has had a hell of a run of brilliant matches lately with Andrade. That's right, the man himself, the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I can't blame Mr. J for going that route. Rey is a legend and he's a future Hall of Famer no matter what. But I can't blame him for choosing Ray. I would love to see Ray win the Royal Rumble anywhere because he is one of the best wrestlers in the world. But for me, I'm going for one of the favourites online and I'm going for the architect, the man who's going to burn it down, Seth Friggin Rollins. That's right, I'm going for a man who I think has had the best year last year and I think 2019 is the year Seth Rollins finally gets the universal title and proves to the world he is one of the best world champions WWE have to offer. So be interesting to see who actually wins the Men's Royal Rumble. Next up we're going to look at the WWE Championship match AJ Styles, the real AJ Styles versus the new mean Daniel Bryan. <laughs> um, yeah, again, me and Mr. J were both split on this. We both couldn't agree on who would win. And that's what the best things about predictions are. Uh, Mr. J has gone for the phenomenal AJ Styles. My favourite wrestler 
on SmackDown. Uh, I can't blame him. AJ is one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. Um, he's so good in the ring. And would I mind him holding the title again? Hell no. AJ holding the WWE title is just right. I think there's certain superstars who just hold a championship and it just fits them. Like Eddie Guerrero with the uh, undis you know, undisputed WWE title. John Cena with the spinny belt. And I have to say, AJ Styles with this current WWE design title. He just, he just fits that title design. Um, but for me, I am going for the new Daniel Bryan. Mainly because I can see Daniel going into WrestleMania as the biggest heel on the planet. And that everyone on SmackDown Live is gunning for his title. Would be interesting to see. Hopefully, this is the end of their feud no matter what. Um, mainly because, yes, it has been good at certain points. But it's got repetitive in others. So, let's just hope this is the end of the Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles feud. But like I said, Mr. J is going for AJ Styles. I have gone for the new Daniel Bryan. Last but not least... It's most likely, hopefully, this match isn't going to be the main event of the Royal Rumble. Hopefully, that's going to be one of the Royal Rumble matches. The Universal Championship match between Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Now, I am looking forward to this match. Uh, Paul Heyman sold me on it all, all week. And I'm excited. I cannot wait to see what both men can bring to the table. I know this is a match Brock Lesnar was uh, wanting last year to take on Finn Balor. But we finally got it this year. And both me and Mr. J have gone for a man who deserves to hold the Universal title. The first ever Universal Champion. That's right, Finn Balor. We know it's a long shot. We know it's a long shot for Finn to take the title off Brock Lesnar. Because WWE want to have... Brock Lesnar hold that title to WrestleMania again. We don't know why. It's it's it makes no sense. But WWE seem to think Brock is the safer hands for that title. For us, Finn Balor is a rightful champion. He is one of the best wrestlers on Raw, and it would be great to finally see him have a proper Universal title run this year. So, but me and Mr. J. I've gone for Finn Balor. And there you go, guys. That are, those are our predictions for the Royal Rumble this year. What are your predictions? Leave them in the comments below. If you do like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press that bell to keep notified. And if you want to follow us on the old Twitter, it's at Smack Talk YouTube. And if you want to follow the old Boise on Twitter, it's at Boise88. And if you want to follow Mr. J on Instagram, it's LJ. And I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling Predictions. <laughs>